Hey guys, welcome back to Mobile Dwellings where we build, live in, and tour homes that you can take with you on the road. My name is Justin and right now we are building out this sweet transit bus for our dear friends, Katie and Sam. Now in the last episode, you saw us take this completely stock transit bus and rip absolutely everything out of it in preparation for this conversion. So after taking out that plywood subfloor, we were left with some rusty areas that we need to grind out and sort of chemically neutralize with a rust converter. Now to do this, we are going to use the best tool for the job and that is an angle grinder with a wire wheel attachment. Let's stay safe during this build, you know? Let's do it one more time, yeah. Now you don't have to be quite as thorough as I'm being. What we really want to do is get rid of this flaky stuff. All right, so now that we have this rust all grinded and this place all cleaned up, we are gonna be using a product called Osfo to convert this rust. It's basically a, an acid that chemically neutralizes the remaining surface rust and makes it ready to be painted and last for a long time. So Osfo, brush, brush it on. Here we go. That's smell like eggs? Yeah. It looks so Smells really weird. All right, so we got the Osfo all done in there. That rust is being converted right now for the next 24 hours. I'm gonna call it a day because it's Sunday and there's not a lot else we can do. I'm gonna be back for more tomorrow. By the way, you can find this product and anything else we use today in this video in the links below. If you buy them on Amazon, you'll be supporting our channel. Thank you. All right, and we're back. So probably the best product for coating your floor after you've converted the rust is Pour 15. Hi, Nova. You made a fairy? Oh my gosh, can you show it to me? Wow, I love her blue skin. If you've got a really rusty floor and you've just gone through this process, you probably wanna go with Pour 15. It is, I think, $110 per gallon though, which is kind of ridiculous. And I think for our purposes, a little bit excessive. Alternatively, if you have the floor that kind of looks like ours, 30 bucks, paint, and then cover holes. All right, so to start out with, to get this floor ready to paint, I'm going to clean it up with some mineral spirits and a mop. So hopefully that helped a little bit in terms of cleaning up that chalky residue. The next step is gonna be painting it with this Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Protective Enamel. <clears throat> In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's gluing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth. Boy, it's the same old route on some new concrete. But homie, these tones make you get a new ID. I'm trying to do my thing, but the commute ain't cheap. I'm on a two day week for all this rap these days. And we can still pitch the track to all the whack DJs. We're singing happy days, wearing tacky chains. And I'm just pumped that I'm sure. Silver paint. You want to try some, Nova? Up down from the lost and found, and get your hands up high and your shoulders down. It's it. And we could turn the whole world around. I'm in the backseat with me, trying to hold it down. And if you up now from the lost and found, and put your hands up high and your shoulders down. It's it. About time that I get back. Yo, I'm gonna get back. All right, so next day we have got a nice shiny floor. Now we're going to cover the seat holes. So there's a lot of ways you can fix these holes. A lot of people will use pennies with some sealant. I don't love pennies because they're not construction materials. I don't know, it's just a pet peeve. Some people use aluminum tape. That feels a little flimsy to me. It's probably fine, but this is for sealing out air, not water. What I chose to go with is a self-adhering roof flashing tape. It kind of smells like a rubber roof underneath it, which is kind of gross, but it's got this little film that'll peel off and it's got a little bit of an aluminum coating on top. And I'm gonna cut this into little squares and that's what we're gonna use to cover up the bolt holes. All right, so I'm basically gonna be saving that task for somebody else. In the meantime, I'm going to cut this up into pieces.
So I rummaged through my bin of bus stuff. I found some Cicaflex 221, but it was all gummed up. So I ended up having to cut it and I used my finger with some gloves to completely coat the underside of those metal tabs, of those metal repairs, of those metal pieces of metal so that I wouldn't have to paint them. But when all is said and done, I'll probably clean off the top and then paint them. What do you think, Nova? Thanks, Daddy, but I was thinking I could I, 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 I get it right here. Okay. Thanks, Daddy, and uh, I was thinking I could help you uh, get the stickers all yeah. over the bus. So this is definitely something you could help with, Nova. So you're gonna take one of those stickers, and anywhere you see these holes, you're gonna stick it over a hole. Good, and press down all around. Good nice, job, Nice, Nova. All right, so we are headed to, I have a driver because I'm not allowed to drive Katie's parents' car, <laughs> which we're borrowing. <laughs> but we are headed to a metal industrial supply shop. We are going to buy some 18 gauge, hey, sheet metal, and we're going to have them cut it to size. We need 27 and a half inches square. And uh, are you done? And that way we don't have to make these nice clean cuts ourselves because we don't have the tools for that. See you guys at the shop. All right, so I just got back with this sheet metal and uh, we are gonna be replacing these hatches with this sheet metal, which means I gotta climb on top of this bus. The only way to get up there is by climbing up on this and then somehow get the sheet metal up there. We'll figure it out. But first I gotta pry up these hatches and the reason that we were taking off these hatches is because we are going to be cutting in max air fans. We're gonna prioritize ventilation and solar panels. In our bus we prioritized Skyland solar panels and I think that ventilation is a little bit more important. So that's what we're doing for our wild caravan on Instagram, check them out. <laughs> I decided to rivet these hatch covers. Basically, the self-tapping screws can vibrate out eventually. Will that ever happen, especially if they're covered in sealant? I don't think so. But the right way to do it, because this is how the roof was made, is with rivets. But I decided to go for it. I decided to buy an air rivet gun. I wanted to learn how to rivet. I wanted to learn new things. You know, every day or two, I want to pick up some kind of knowledge or develop my problem solving in some way. So that's what I decided to do, for better or worse. Now, it kind of turned out worse. Now what happened was I broke all of my drill bits. Now I'm left with a panel that's not covered in rivets. I was hoping to get two of these panels on. The second one is not on. This one is not on. I'm happy to be learning new skills. I think that's something that you should do too. But at the end of the day, it's just screw the hatch covers in, you know, get the work done. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I will be finishing these hatch covers. I will do it. All right, so yesterday I completely massacred this hatch cover. If you look up close, it's a horrible blend of rivets and sheet metal screws. The reason for that is that right here, the rivets just had to connect two pieces of metal, and that's what I sized the rivets appropriately for. But over here, there were actually four layers that the rivets had to go through, and they didn't have enough of a grip range. Now over here, 
there's three layers it had to go through and some of the rivets made it through and some of them did not. So part of this was just me like not really planning appropriately, expecting these rivets to be able to just work in every situation. But it turns out I had three different situations that they had to work in. Now over here, I only have two pieces of metal to go through. Right here, I'm gonna put down my butyl tape. I'm gonna drill my holes, space out the rivets so they look perfect. And I'm gonna do a perfect bang up top notch job. I really messed this up. Now I need redemption, so. Here we go, round two hatch cover, redemption time. Alright, go for it. Hey Sam, give me one in the middle here too. Awesome, thank you. All right, so having done this one so far with just rivets, I'm now thinking I'm gonna be shooting some screws into this too, because the rivets have not been able to squeeze out the butyl. So now I don't have as tight of a seal as I expected. You can see I've got like a little bit of a gap here. So I'm gonna take my self-tapping sheet metal screws after all this and just do every other one. I would advise you to just get some sheet metal screws, some butyl tape, some die core, some steel, shoot this thing in with the screws, seal it all up, call day. You'll be just fine. This video schoolie shout out goes out to number one bus. Number one bus is a retired US Air Force bus converted into a sweet off-grid adventure rig by Will and Kristen, their daughter Rome, and their puppy Rush. Will, Kristen, Rome, and Rush travel around the United States making epic bus life adventure vlogs. If you guys wanna see a sweet family live an incredible lifestyle on the road, check out their YouTube in the description below, in the card right there. And if you'd like to, check out their merch. They have this incredible social distancing rig shot. That's the one right there, it's the one I like. If you guys could give them a follow and tell them that we sent you, that would mean a lot to me. All right guys, back to the show. And that, my friends, is life without a ladder. Well, we did it, guys, and that's all for me. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see this bus turn into a tiny house. Hit the like button if you had a good time coming along on this ride with us. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Peace.